Shalom Akim. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and is no God beside them. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The apostles, the elder bishops, and up and coming elders of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit. And shalom to the elect who the most I have given is to hear. All praises to Yahweh, the creator of all creations. All praises to Yahweh Shah, the Savior. Blessed be the Enoch. Blessed be the Shem. Blessed be the Abraham. Blessed be the Isaac. Blessed be the Yahoo and the children of Israel. We are. <clears throat> I'm making this today. I want to say that we need to start with the idolizing. Just because y'all y'all cannot go around making images of what you believe the most high looks like and his son looks like. That is idolizing. That is idolatry. You must stop this. That is a sin in the eyes of the most high. Just because it say that he has woolly hair. His, his his feet burnt like the furnace, but in the book of Enoch, it says the son of man will come with his elect one and his elect one would have a head of days. His hair is white as wool. Not the son of man, because they never gave an image on him because. Ah, it's just deep, man. They, they trying to trick y'all, bro. And we need to wake up. They they rewrote everything for us to be tricked. What the hell is Jake talking about? I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to you. Yeah, man, it's a lot. <laughs> Cause um, the first time I watched the, the the brother's video, the older brother um, up there in Vegas. His video all the way through. And it's a spirit, man. I thought the same exact thing, man. Because this guy is all over the place. And you know that the brother got into it. He starts off on point. The names. But then as you see. That didn't necessarily matter, man. Because he went way off. He went way off the path, man. Going into these other books. Giving praises. To Enoch and Abraham, you know, as the scriptures say in Matthew seven twenty one, not all those that say Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of, uh, in, shall enter into the kingdom of the heavenly Father. Okay, and um, there's a few points I want to get into as far as the image. All right, because it's not wrong. With um, making images according to the Bible. Now, as the brother said, we never said and we never make. First off, we never make graven images. We never tell you to worship this image. We simply tell you that this is the image or the depiction of who the world really calls Jesus Christ. Okay, this is the image. This is the. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Bible says. And as the brother mentioned, you know, our people have been asleep for so long. Our people have been asleep for so long and still to this day. You'll have northern come past the image. And rather than read it all the way through. They'll just see the fact of a white Jesus with horns on his head and they shun us. I don't want to hear that. All right. So it's a strong delusion. In our people's minds. It's a strong delusion in our people's minds. You know. And this is why. You know I always say. You know. Shalom to the elect. When the most I've given is to hear. Alright. Which. The, a lot of times. in Well. In the scriptures. The scriptures say. Blesses he who have ears to hear. Alright. Meaning. Blesses he that understandeth. Because not. Most people won't understand. And as a brother said. You know. It's always, 
a, a dart, it's always a, a some it's always some disrespect when you're how shy. You know, you can respect this other book. You know what I'm saying? You can uh, 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 bring this other book into the picture as if it's more valid over the scriptures. You know. And um, like the scriptures say. I ain't planning on getting this, but I'll grab this one. Ecclesiastes 10 and 12. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. You know? And this is why you just let a man talk and he would he will eventually, which this guy did it right away, he tripped over himself. Because he mentioned the depiction of Yahweh Shai in the scriptures. And then basically said, that's not what it is. So it's like, dude, what are you believing? All right. But hey, Shalom to your elect once again. All right. So this is the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2. And verse 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So I want to get the commentary on the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verses 2 through 3. All right, you see this is the Benson commentary on the Bible Hub. It says, the Lord said, write the vision, write down what I'm going to say. Every divine communication by whatever means made is often spoke of in the prophetic writings under the title of a vision. When the prophets were commanded to write anything, it denoted the great importance of it and that the fulfilling of it was at some distance. Make it plain upon tables. Write it in legible characters that he may run that readeth. Okay? So that's what we do when we show the people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, all right, and also the rest of the world, the true depiction of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, according to the scriptures. And as we just read, all right, it says, um, it denotes the great importance of it and that it is fulfilling of it was at some distance, make it plain upon tables. All right, and it reminds me of the book of Revelations, right? Which again, this is only for the elect. This is only for... The one whom the Most High uh, spoke to through his son Yahawashai from the very beginning. This is the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Yahawashai, which God gave unto him to shoot unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. All right. Again, going into a, a vision which is at a, at a, a distance to come. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bared record of the word of God and of the testimony of Yahawashai and of all things that he saw. All right. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Right, now, now, when we jump down to verse 13, right? Again, going to the image, all right? Or the, all right, the, the, basically a testimony of things which must surely come to pass. All right? Jumping down to verse 13, and in the midst of the seven, <laughs> let me start at verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks.
So this is the one we normally use. I was trying to find the other one where it shows uh Yahweh Shai with um seven, you know, uh candlesticks. So it says, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So these were the angels. All right. And in the midst of the, the different, um, in the midst of the angels, all right, Yahweh Shai was in the midst, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Let me see if I could, uh, I'm going to just try to split screen it. No, it's not allowing me to. Okay, here we go. Okay, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, as it tells us in Genesis 49. And his feet as a fine brass, as if they had burnt unto a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Okay, so this is the depiction of who the world annually calls Jesus Christ. All right, you see Revelations 1 and 1 through 13 through 15, Daniels 10 and 5 through 6. Now, let's go to Daniels 10 and 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a certain man clothed in linen whose loins were girded with fine gold with fine gold of Uphaz. All right. Same image that um John saw. All right. His body was like the burrow and his face as the appearance of lightning. And his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass, and the voice of his words like a voice of multitude, as many waters, same thing. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. You know, and I wanted to harp on this point as far as the Most High um, allotted only certain men to receive this image. Okay? To re really receive this word. All right? Yahweh Shai said what? Lo, uh, what does it say? Um, Basically how the, the, the Bible is written of him. Psalm, was that Psalms 40 and 7? Lord, I come in the value of the book. It is written of me. Okay. So this is the book of. Second Ezra chapter 12. Verse 47. Mm, was it 37? Verse 35, I'll start at this, you know, this is the dream that Ezra's had. This is the dream that thou sawest, and these are the interpretations. Thou only has been meet to know this secret of the highest. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them and teach them to the wise of the people whose heart thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. OK, so we're going to continue to teach this word. And those who were here were here, and those who were forbear were forbear. Okay? How wish I said to his disciples, this is the way, walk ye in it. All right? And according as the teachings of Yahweh Shai to his disciples, he said he will lead them into all truth. Um, I think it was 16 and 30. All right? And also, might I add, that the scriptures speak of in Hebrews 1 and 2, that Yahweh is the express image of the Father. 
So if you have seen Yahawashai, you have seen the Father. And also the scriptures say, Yahawashai even said, if you have seen me, because they was asking, show us the Father. Yahawashai said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Okay? Both spiritually, not saying that they're the same people, but he literally looks like the Father. You know? And of course, they come in, you know, he comes in the spirit of Yahweh. Uh, let me see. And um, the other brother also made another beautiful point of how Jake, Jake is a colorful people. There's many color scriptures in the Bible. And... You know, Jake, when you go into, uh, like when I was scrolling through the different images down here, you've seen Russian icons. So Jake always, uh, you know, had depiction of themselves or their family, you know. And it's just what Jake did. You know, just it's just what Jake did. You know, I would imagine they also had, uh, you know, different pictures of Yahawashai and different men of the Lord in the temples as well. Let me see. And the reason why I say that is because when you go in the book of James, the third chapter, when um Nebuchadnezzar cast uh he cast the um the three holy children in the in a in the fire, and he, he said he saw the, the fourth as the image like like uh the son of man. So how would he have known what the image of the son of man looked like? You know? Um, dang, I don't know why I can't find that scripture all of a sudden. I think it's verse 13. Let me see. Okay, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. St. John chapter 16, verse 13. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak, and he will show you things to come. Okay, and um, the thing is, you know, the the this word is as a relay. Like Yahweh Shai told Peter, you know, without convert strengthen thy brethren. All right. So we're supposed to give our brothers this this word too. The hundred percent. All all that is written in this word, we give the brethren. All right. And hey, Yahweh Shai said it plainly. He, you know, he prayed for the elect that they would keep this word. And what's written in his word, the depiction of Yahawashai. All right. We will serve Yahawashai knowing that that's the only way of our salvation. It says, um, he shall glorify me and he will show you things to come. I'm going to read it again. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that Shall he speak and he will show you all things to come. He will show you things to come. He shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and, and shall show it unto you. Okay. All things that the father have are mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. All right. A little while and ye shall not see me. And again a little while and ye shall see me. Because I go to the Father. You know, when we see Yahweh Shai, guess how he's going to look? Okay? So, again, to close it out, we're not pushing to bow down and worship this image. Brothers, well, not making no graven image, which a graven image means to, like, when you carve out, a, a, you know, some wood and make a look at Yahweh Shai, you know, like them churches do, like the uh, Catholic Church did. Nah, we're not saying to do that. We're showing you the depiction of Yahweh Shai, you know, and how he's going to look when he comes back. So if that, Shalom to the elect.